Today's video is sponsored by nobility.co.uk, the leading company in selling legal titles in the United Kingdom. Get a 10% discount in any purchase by mentioning Death Row. Executing a 13 year old girl is a barbaric action. To think it happened in today's world is unthinkable, but it did happen in Somalia in 2008. In 1991, the government of then President of Somalia Syed Bar was overthrown by a coalition of armed factions. The Islamic Courts Union took control of the southern half of Somalia in 2006, imposing Sharia law. In 2006, the transitional federal government, assisted by Ethiopian troops recaptured the capital Mogadishu, largely driving the ICU's leaders out of the country. Al-Shabaab, the youth branch of the ICU's militias, subsequently stayed behind to take up guerrilla warfare against the TFG and the Ethiopian military. In 2008, the group was designated as a terrorist organization by the United States, which launched missile strikes against the militants early in the year. Somalia is nightmarish. During the Cold War, its strategic location on the Horn of Africa saw it become possibly the world's largest arms dump. With no effective government for nearly two decades, it has become a theater for the proxy wars of its neighbors and a domain ruled by warlords and extremists. The emergence of the Islamic Courts movement, which drove the warlords out of Mogadishu, briefly offered hope of relative stability. Instead the movement was portrayed as a hotbed of Islamist extremism, accused of links to Al-Qaeda, and neighboring Ethiopia was encouraged by the U.S. to invade. Today the country is divided between warlords, and a legitimate government protected by occupying troops, resurgent Islamist militias and a small, besieged force of Ugandan peacekeepers. Three million people out of a population of nine million are at immediate risk of starvation. Several thousand local civilians were killed by the militants during the height of the insurgency between December 2006 and October 2008. A Toyota pickup with a loudspeaker began an early morning tour of the ruined neighborhoods of Kismayo, a port in southern Somalia, announcing that there would be a killing. By 4 p.m. a crowd of 1,000 people had gathered at the football stadium. A hole had been dug in the ground, and half an hour later a truck loaded with rocks arrived. A group of fighters from the Al-Shabaab militia who control the city appeared, firing warning shots into the air to disperse a crush of people trying to reach the stones. A young girl was dragged into the stadium. She knew what was going to happen next, and witnesses saw her struggling and screaming. Her name was Aisha Ibrahim Duello, born in 1995, in Somalia. Duello and her family moved to the southern city of Kismayo, Somalia from the Hagar Deer refugee camp in Adab, Kenya in July 2008. According to one of her teachers, Muno Mohamed Osman, who had taught Duello for a few months and did not remember her well, she struggled during class and didn't look mentally fit. She was always in trouble with students, teachers, she was just a child. Three months after her arrival in Kismayo Duolo, was reportedly raped by three armed men while traveling on foot to visit her grandmother in Mogadishu in October 2008. Her aunt took her to a police station to report the incident to the Al-Shabaab Islamist militia in Kismayo, which at the time controlled the city's court system. They were asked to return to the station a few days later, having been told that two suspects had been apprehended. Duello was subsequently arrested by the insurgents under charges that she had chatted up the men and committed adultery. She was then sentenced to death by stoning. The militant tribunal asserted that Duello had come to it with an admission of guilt, 
and that she was repeatedly asked to reconsider her confession, but that she instead insisted that she wanted Sharia law and the attendant punishment to be applied. One militant, Sheikh Hayakala, stated that the evidence came from her side and she officially confirmed her guilt. She told us that she was happy with the punishment under Islamic law. No attempts were made by the insurgent group to apprehend Duello's purported attackers. Aisha Ibrahim Duello was killed on Monday the 27th of October, 2008. By a group of 50 men who stoned her to death in a stadium in the southern port of Kismayu, in front of around 1,000 spectators. What do you want from me? She asked. Then she shouted I'm not going. I'm not going. Don't kill me. But four men forced her into the hole and buried her up to her neck. Fifty men then set about stoning her to death. After ten minutes she was dug up and two nurses checked to see if she was alive. She was. So they put her back in the ground and the stoning recommenced. Aisha Ibrahim Duello's crime was to be raped and then reported. After being attacked by three men her family went to the Al-Shabaab Islamist militia to report the crime. She was detained and accused of adultery. No effort was made to identify or arrest the rapists. Despite reports that she was 23 years old, Aisha was actually 13. She hadn't even reached the age to be married, her distraught father said. People in Kismayo say they live in constant fear of the Al-Shabaab, but not everyone was content to watch a clearly distressed girl being stoned to death. Some people tried to intervene. The gunmen fired shots. One man was wounded and an eight-year-old boy was shot dead. The militia later apologized for his killing. After the execution a man called Sheikh Hayakala told a radio station, the evidence came from her side and she officially confirmed her guilt, he said. She told us that she was happy with the punishment under Islamic law. Aisha's father said his daughter had begged for her life. It is illegal under Sharia to convict a 13-year-old of adultery. Incidents such as the stoning are presented by some as evidence of the need to confront Islamist forces in the country. However, analysts point out that the military solution has been a crushing failure that has driven out moderates and made a bad situation dramatically worse. The Al-Shabaab militia prohibited journalists from taking pictures of the stoning, but allowed them to document the event. Militants initially reported that the stoning victim was a woman who had confessed to adultery. Witnesses and local journalists estimated her age at 23 based on her appearance. A few days later, Amnesty International reported that Duello's father had told them that she was only 13, under the age of marriage eligibility, and that she was arrested and executed after trying to report that she had been raped. Her aunt, who had taken her to the police to report the alleged assault, reiterated the father's statement regarding her age. Aisha Ibrahim Duello was accused of adultery in breach of Islamic law but, her father and other sources told Amnesty International that she had in fact been raped by three men, and had attempted to report this rape to the Al-Shabaab militia who control Kiss Mayo, and it was this act that resulted in her being accused of adultery and detained. None of men she accused of rape were arrested. This was not justice, nor was it an execution. This child suffered a horrendous death at the behest of the armed opposition groups who currently control Kiss Mayo. Thank you for watching Death Row.